Free Ride by the Edgar Winter Group. Got to be one of my favorite guitar riffs of all time. Top five for me. I'm going to take a couple minutes in this video for us to look together at how I play the song. And uh, maybe you're interested in playing it and some of the things that I do will, will help you. Or maybe you'll figure out a better way even than I play it. So we're going to look at the introduction, kind of the uh, hook riff. Then we'll look at the verse and uh, maybe a couple of little things as we go along. So the sort of the signature lick. <laughs> Okay, song is in A, and we're going to use a couple type of grips. One is um, a bar across four strings with our first finger, D through E string, laying our second finger in on the B string, and then um, our third finger in on the D string. So we get a grip that looks like this. Kind of an A minor 7 moved up would be one, one way maybe to think about that or visualize it. The other is a grip where we're just borrowing these three strings, D, G, and B, and putting um, uh, the third of the chord on the bottom. Here I'm on the seventh fret. I'm going to the ninth fret with my third finger. So the song kicks with a, exactly that kind of a riff. I'm really sliding on the A string up to the uh, ninth fret. It doesn't have to be a long slide. It can be just one fret or a couple. And then I'm hitting the D and the G string. Really trying not to hit the B string. You could actually, you could actually just almost hit one note. But I like it a little better like that. So really slow. That's kind of the sound you're after. He's in down strokes. Then we're going to sit up into this position that we just looked at. Here I'm on the seventh fret, barring across four strings, D through E, dropping my second finger in on the B string, uh, eighth fret, ninth fret on the D string with my third finger. Gives me a, a G chord. Should sound like that. I'm going to slide into it up two frets. So I'm ending up here on the 9th, 10th, and 11th. Really slow. Then going back down to where I started and then to that position on the 7th fret. Slow motion. The second half starts the same way, same way. Then I hammer on bar across the seventh fret, D through E. And then hammer on the 8th fret with my 2nd finger, ninth fret with my 3rd finger, on the B string and on the D string. And then take those off to leave just the bar on the 7th and then down to an A chord on the 2nd fret. So all together in slow motion. Instead of ending on the A down here in the 2nd fret, you could end on this F uh, style grip on the 5th fret, barring the B and the E string on 5, G string on 6, D string on 7, if you wanted to. It's a little more convenient, but my ear sort of hears this voicing in the uh, original recording. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
played it both ways there for you. Okay, there's a little riff that the bass plays, and sometimes maybe you could double on a guitar. Uh, that's the riff. You could play it here on the seventh, fifth, and seventh D string and A string. Seventh of the D, fifth of the D, and the seventh of the A. You can do it down here on the second fret. A little more pop to it. Put all that together. And then it's kind of into the verse. The verse is a, is a simple bar on the seventh fret, keeping the A string open. And then down to the fifth fret. It's almost just three bars, a bar of three strings, seven, five, and down to A. Okay. And then back up to this on the seventh fret, hammer on. Seventh fret, hammer on to the eighth fret of the B string and the ninth fret of the D string. So everything kind of resolves back down here at the net. Let's put the verse together in some motion. Okay, so far. Second fret, bar all six strings with your first finger. Lay in your third and fourth fingers on the fourth fret of the A and the D string. Then I just go to a G bar on the third fret, kind of an E form with the bar in there. And then to an A or an A here. Kind of emphasizing the bass and then strumming the chord. Just a little riff. Slide on the A string to the fourth fret, second fret of the D string, fourth fret of the D string, and back down. And I like to grab it with the chord. So you can hear me strumming the chord under it. That in slow motion. And then it goes to a D. I play it up here on the fifth fret. A string fifth, seventh fret of the D, G, and the B. Same riff. So here I'm sliding up to the ninth fret of my A string, grabbing those two strings again, D and G string on the seventh, and then making that little riff on the ninth, seventh, and then back to the ninth of the D and the A string. Let's put all that together real slow. And the signature riff is starting on the fifth fret, just going down chromatically. phrases for free ride and um, I hope you'll really enjoy it. It sounds great on a Stratocaster, uh, kind of like the original recording, but it'll work on any guitar. Appreciate you taking time to watch the video. Hope it helps a little bit. Enjoy the song. Thanks a lot. <laughs>